sorry. Can you feel me now? <laughs> sorry. Okay, so yeah, yesterday we were all in um in a blob just outside the headquarters wanting to, I mean, make space for the sacred circle later and uh, yeah, it was it was pretty intense. The police um were not happy with us. They really don't like the fact that we've been here for over a year. They really want us off the mountain. So um, they, they put yellow tape in front of us and made that their like bullshit exclusion line, which is illegal if you don't know. And then um, yeah, the police started coming up to us, taunting us. They pointed to a indigenous woman a little bit behind me. One of the cops said, "I see you. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna arrest you." And, um, that was scary, and I was like, no, and I told her, I was like, no, we'll protect you, we won't let him get you. And I was holding on to the two BIPOC people in front of me, trying to make sure that they weren't taken. Um, I was, like, right behind them, so there was, like, a little bit of a window of them and me and my, my head. So, um, yeah, after, after that cop threatened the indigenous woman, um, yeah, after, after that, they started pushing on us and shoving, and then, um, we were just told to hold the line, so we were just trying to hold the line and stay together and hold on to people. And then they started grabbing this guy in an orange sweater, I think I think it was Forrest. And I tried to grab onto him, and I grabbed his sweater, but they, they pulled him away, and I, I couldn't um, yeah, I couldn't hold on to him. So he was arrested, I believe, and, um, and then they just kept pushing and pushing. And then um, one of the cops put, had his, had his uh, hands on my friend's throat, and I tried to move him off. And I said, stop choking her. I tried to move his hands off. And the other cops were like, don't touch him. Don't touch him. Move your hands. Get off. Get off. And I was like, well, then you stop choking my friend. You're fucking choking my friend. Stop it. I started screaming at them to stop it. Get your hands off her. Stop choking her. And then she, she said, it's okay. I I'm fine. But she, was, she wasn't she was fine. Um, and then I was holding on. She was right beside me. And I was still holding on to the other people after I tried to, I let go to try to get their hands off her. Um. But that I was holding on to the people in front of me and then um, uh, and making sure the, the person in front of me didn't fall, fall down because the, the lady cop was pushing really hard. And, um, and then she told the person in front of me, she was like, stand up, stand up, I'll help you. And I was like, no, I got, I got them, don't touch them. And that's the last thing that I really remember before I, I heard pepper spray. And so I looked away to, and tried to cover, my, I had a bandana, so I tried to cover my face um, with it. But then I looked back and made sure I was holding on to the people. And that's when they would and pepper sprayed me and then I couldn't um I couldn't hold on I started screaming um I got it like right in my eyes um and a little bit on my mouth because my bandana sort of like fell down a little bit and then I um I I had to like I obviously let go of them because it, it it burned so bad and then um they got sprayed too like we were like right in the front right like right in the front of it so I got sprayed really bad and then I had to get out and um when a one of the people uh, was like, I need to get out. And I was like, I need to get out, I need to get out. And then I, I made it across the street and um, someone started um, uh, helping me pour water on me because I was like, I need help. And I was screaming at first because it was burning so bad. And then they, yeah, they started pouring water on me. And then I went down to the lake and I was dunking my face in the water, the, the river down there. I was dunking my face in the water for about um, 45 minutes. Uh, over and over again and, and my friend came and I was holding her hand while she was doing the same thing because she was screaming and crying she was worried about her friends who were um, up at waterfall that they were going to get the same treatment and she was worried that the pepper spray was going to affect the fish so yeah which makes sense because we're trying to protect the environment but she she was just in hysterics because it's so painful and scary um, and then yeah that was kind of uh, all I really remember of it I know after some people the cops were pulling people's goggles off of them who had goggles and pepper spraying their eyes because they wanted to hurt us that's their goal to to scare us off so we we don't come back so they can um destroy the trees um but yeah that's a uh, you know and they also pulled an indigenous woman we got video of this but they pulled an indigenous woman um i didn't see this but we saw the video of them of a cop pulling an indigenous woman by the hair, ripping her hair out of her skull and dragging her face on the concrete ground just outside, the, just on the road. Um, yeah, they really, they hate indigenous people and they specifically, they hate indigenous women. They hate them so much, especially people who are native to this territory. They hate them with a passion. But they're not going anywhere and, you know, the only people who are leaving are, are people who have to, like, take care of themselves. I have to go away to heal for a bit because I have a bruised rib. I have a little bruise on my eye and a little scrape here, but, um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and heal, but I'm gonna come back because 
We're not fucking going anywhere. They can try to break us, but they're not going to be able to because we know what we're here for. We're here for the trees and for our future. So nothing they can do is going to scare any of us off. I mean, if I have to, I'll get fucking pepper sprayed again for these trees and for our future and for the indigenous people who want to live in peace here.